Welcome to the Joy of Music. As many of you know, I am Diane Bish, and I host the program each week as well as perform with outstanding musical artists around the world. Since we have so many exceptional guests and have experienced numerous visits to famous cities and countries, we thought you might enjoy seeing the best of the best, what we consider to be great moments of the joy of music. Welcome to a musical journey of France, from the capital of Bavaria, Munich, a musical journey of Vienna from Innsbruck, Austria, Lucerne, Switzerland, Salzburg, Austria, the Netherlands, or Holland, as most people know it, Tyrol, Austria, a musical journey on the Danube, the Melk Monastery in Melk, Austria, in the ski village of Arosa, Switzerland, the Holy Land, from the Etal Monastery in Germany. Out of the thousands of hours of taping and program material, we would like to share with you highlights of both places and people featured on over 10 years of programming by the joy of music. So stay tuned for some fascinating sights and sounds. There are not many instruments in the world that are over 400 years old and still playable. Certainly for any musician to play such a historic instrument is a great honor and delight. Such an event for the joy of music and me was spending a whole day in the fortress church of Sion, Switzerland, where I played the world's oldest playable organ. the joy of music, we try to bring you the finest of music, scenery, inspiration, and informative narration. We always try to make things look easy and pleasant. But for me, the artists and the crew, that isn't always the case. Perhaps an eye-opening experience for you would be to see some of the behind-the-scenes adventures of the joy of music. Often our trips to different parts of the world are in the winter months. Of course, we can control the weather. And on one trip to Bavaria, we experienced one of the coldest days on record there while recording at the Etal Monastery. As you may know, most European cathedrals and monasteries do not have the luxury of heat. My fingers were blue. I had no choice but to wear a coat. And in between numbers, I warmed my hands with a hair dryer. But the church and the organ were beautiful.
One year later, in a freezing Austrian January, we recorded in both the Innsbruck Cathedral and the Stiftskirche of Innsbruck. The Innsbruck Boy Choir sang for our cameras for three hours in 30 degree temperatures inside the church. By the end of the taping, they were frozen and so were we. In the bitter January temperatures in the Innsbruck Cathedral, where there is also no heat, I perform with the members of the Innsbruck Symphony. We may look happy and comfortable, but only because we have on layers of long johns and clothing, and hand warmers used between each musical selection. We also drank hot tea and rum at the breaks. Speaking of cold and snow, there is more than one way to reach these churches and instruments on which we are to perform. In Strasbourg, it's walking out on the roof, but in Arosa, Switzerland, it's piling the camera equipment and crew into a snow manicuring machine for a ride to the skier's chapel, 
where we played an organ over 300 years old. of transportation on the joy of music and after a long day of taping it's refreshing to relax in a cable car in the Alps a horse and buggy in Vienna the MS Mozart on the beautiful Danube River a train ride through the snow-covered Alps a trolley car in Louisville and even enjoy a bumpy ride through the cheese markets in Holland Today on The Joy of Music, we are bringing you highlights from hundreds of programs that we have taped over many years. Although there are hundreds of memorable moments for the crew and me, one special musical mountaintop was performing the music of Mozart in the Dome Cathedral in Salzburg, the church for which Mozart wrote his church organ sonatas. And if that were not special enough, I had the added pleasure of performing these sonatas with the Mozarteum Orchestra of Salzburg and was joined by one of my very dear friends as concertmaster, Joy Brown Wiener, who has appeared many times as a special guest artist on The Joy of Music. Music and meaning truly came alive with such an ensemble, organ, and place as this, where Mozart himself wrote and performed.
Over the years, we have had many musicians on the joy of music. We hope that we have shared a good variety of all kinds of instruments and performers. Let's take a look at some great performances by unique combinations of instruments and some interestingly entertaining performances, beginning with a rare taping involving six harps. possibly spotlight each and every musician who has been a guest artist on the joy of music. It would take hours to cover them all. They have been extraordinary to perform with and have been very patient under grueling taping conditions. However, I think you will find the next setting for my performance with Anne Martindale Williams cellist exceptional. In Lindau, Germany by the shores of Lake Constance, Anne Williams artistry only added to the beauty that we found there.
thank you for joining us today on the program as we have brought you great moments on the joy of music. Highlights from over 200 programs and 10 years of broadcasting. We would like to end today's program with a portion of Psalm 150 that has become our motto on the joy of music as we thank God for the glorious and endless opportunities he has given us. Praise ye the Lord. Praise him in his sanctuary. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise him with a trumpet. Praise him with harp and lyre. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Thank you.